Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa as we analyze the biggest entertainment stories and have lifestyle conversations. My name is Elsie Godwin and I have my very interesting co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshankeye. What's good? What's Hi. good? Hi, what's how good? you doing? I'm okay, I'm okay. So I missed something in the morning. You're always um, missing something, yes, Ife. You need to um, change. Yeah. You need to. You need to do better. Okay, mm -hmm. I will do better. <laughs> okay. All right, so um, today is somebody special. You need to double it while doing it. Mm -hmm. so, unfortunately, you're mic too. Yeah. So I can't do that. Mm -hmm. And they don't double it to say happy birthday, do Why not? Why not? Ah, okay. Are you, so, uh, okay, can we just do this already? <laughs> like, all right, so today is someone special on my life's birthday. I just want to say happy birthday to you, Dad, and thank you for all you have been doing for me mm. and for all of us. I hope we he's watching. You, Dad. Yeah, he's watching, obviously. Okay, happy, happy birthday, birthday Daddy. Daddy. Thank you so thank much. Thank you for bringing yeah. this stubborn human being to <laughs> this world. Uh, thank you for managing this stubborn yeah. human being. <laughs> Mm. We appreciate you. We Happy do. birthday, long life. Yeah, long Amen. life. And COVID will not come near you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Stop forgetting things like that. Yeah, Moving yeah. on, um, Tom and Jerry director Jean Dish dies age, at the age of 95. The Oscar-winning illustrator passed away on Thursday night at his apartment in Prague. Jean is survived by his wife and three sons from his first marriage, all of whom are cartoonists. Mm. What a man. I don't know what why this man. hits me personally because growing up, Tom Are you talking and Jerry about growing up, even being grown? was the only yeah. cartoon I loved. Like loved. I mean I watched others, right? Mm. Yeah, but And I'm still I think Tom and Jerry is still that cartoon that when it comes it's on you really, still, Yeah, of course really, I'll see yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You still I, see that. Maybe and watch there it. is some science to this thing and whatever it is, they hit it on the spot. Like there's not that much to Tom and Tom Jerry, Jerry right? but it works. I've never been bored of it. I've never felt like, oh, this too I think he's a naughty character that comes with um, Tom. Right. Um, Jerry trying to be outsmart Tom every time. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I feel like I'm going to watch that this night. Yeah. And to make it better, they, they don't even talk. They don't. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. The only time they talk is maybe when they're trying to um, use the human, mm. the woman. And we just see their legs. Yeah. Do you understand? That's mm -hmm. when the only time you hear a word really or something. It's really brilliant. And yeah, I, I'm really glad to see that, you know, his family has put on to that because I, I think that just even uh, reiterates the fact that he loved his job. It's, I, I think sometimes your love mm. for something could be contagious. Yeah. Um, and it seems like people in three people in his family have picked that up. So it's amazing. I just hope that they can give us, like the next generation can give our children something like that. Because I don't think we really something have Something that, that embodies passion. You know, and mm. like, like that is so em enriched in itself. Like a lot of the times they're either too watered down or... I don't know. The cartoons these days sometimes are just too funny. Are sometimes they, they use cartoons? it as a tool to even just push out agendas. Is it that too, like, um, I don't know, like just too left or too right or too... Um, Tom, and, Tom and Jerry is that cartoon that's either as a child or an adult, you can relate. There's something to learn from it. Uh, so I think. I'm not learning anything. <laughs> You're not learning anything, really? I'm not learning anything. Uh, no, come on. Sometimes, sometimes, that what, sometimes that's it has a message in it. Things come, uh, small people can win big battles. Yeah, like, I like you can even relate yeah, you're gonna to learn the Bible, that every David and Goliath. Time. Nah, it's <laughs> so, like so there's no lesson. Are you saying you never learned anything from Tom and Jerry? Um, I, I have to jiggle my mind. Yeah, it comes, it to comes be with sure. a lesson. But maybe, maybe you're just looking I, at I it think from there the is part. I think Tom and Jerry kind of inspired Pinky and the Brain. Um, I think I think Pinky and the Brain is like a deeper you can, version. Yeah, of so yeah, it is. That's it what is I think. Name. Forgive me if that's not mm. your inspiration, but yeah. But anyway, rest in peace. And you lived, he lived, as far as I'm concerned, and he touched life. So and Tom and Jerry lived on. The, yes, that's the most important part, as, <laughs> long, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. He has a, he left a legacy. Yeah, mm. he did. Okay, moving on. Media personalities um, Dotto and Tools and Nigerian rapper Ice Prince have reacted to ladies going on clad on live video. Dotto wrote in part, quote, we are all not saints and if you must sin differently, why the extreme show of indecency and misdemeanor? Um, end of quote. Using her personal experience to drive home her points, Tolu O'Neill, popularly known as Tools, advised ladies to be mindful of their activities online as it can come back to haunt them in future. While Ice Prince Zamani begs his colleagues to stop enticing women with money to go unclad on Instagram as his 10-year-old son plays with his mom's phone. Yeah. Um, I think um, 
this cannot be emphasized enough because um, it's really shameful and very disturbing when you watch some of these Instagram videos and you're like, you see what a lot of ladies do out there. And sometimes, in as much as I would like to put the blame on the ladies, it's not just about the ladies. It's also about the guys who initiated Have you this. ever joined live? Um, a few, but I get okay. disgusted and I leave. And then you leave. Like, mm. um, do you know how many ladies come on if you're going to put a number? Like, do you have an idea? I know they could, there are a lot of ladies. A that lot. Come, a whole lot. And they go nude. Yes. Okay. A whole lot. And they are the ones <laughs> requesting to be there. But mm -hmm. sometimes you need but to But I think, think they about... also have catalysts. The people like catalysts are those that they kind of pay to encourage people to do things like that. Mm. Why I say so is... I've, I've never had the opportunity to join this live videos, whether the unclad ones or even the ones we gave thumbs up. I remember the day you were telling me about, um, was it Saz and the other guy, and I was hurt that I didn't watch that mm. live, right? I think my own sleep pattern has not been affected at all. But one thing, <laughs> <laughs> one thing I noticed was um, on Twitter, I saw a short video, I think for five seconds or thereabouts, and then I noticed the um, ladies um instagram handle so i went to her page because i really wanted to get to understand who this person is and why the person would want to do that online and then i saw that even before slim case who is the person who started this whole in the nigerian space before he went live she made a video saying catch me live on slim case's page i'm gonna do this mm. i'm gonna do this i'm bringing it hot i'm bringing it so it wasn't about the prize he had placed for her she came off um, like someone who had been paid to be, be the, maybe the like a video inspiration for other people to come on. So, and that worries me. So it's not even, it's beyond you putting a price to it. It means that you went out of your way to get people to be a source of inspiration, quote and unquote, to get other ladies to think that is the right thing to do. And that is where I have a problem. Mm. And guess what? Most of these ladies are educated some of them went to school they have the certificate they have the degrees okay. but they still they still go no 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 I, i'm just talking about the state of the nation as well now if there were jobs with those certificates maybe just maybe if not some of them being lazy just maybe they would have gotten a job and they'll be doing something better with their lives do you understand so we can blame the economy we can blame the country we live in as well and we can blame how the society has made us feel like, okay, it's let's just get that fast money. And because most of them are doing, they put some of them go away with 150K. That's somebody's salary if you think about it. For, for Do me, you understand? Just for twerking on an not Instagram just twerking, live. Twerking naked. Mm, pouring milk mm. and palm oil. Oh, wow. um, and palm oil. I, I don't think this is something that's very new. There yeah. is that industry that exists. Mm. Some people do it for. Um, money Video. driven reasons and some people just really enjoy that um, the difference here is that it's gone online um, and it's kind of like recorded to the world um, and, it, it and it's going online sorry to cut you on a general platform mm. yes Instagram is supposed to be a platform for yeah everybody yeah. not for those who signed up for that particular mm. yes app. yes um, and that's where it gets tacky I remember when we we're talking about I kill Bun and I said oh let's not even go into that because mm -hmm. it's interesting how we came on the table but it was about the flags and not about what was going on in there first of all it was a copy from um, um, to Lane. Lane. so it's not necessarily like you know, birthed from here or initiatives and stuff. I would say that they, I, I'm glad that the artists that are coming out are referring more to the men. Um, you rarely ever see that. Mm, and there should be responsibility to both parties because that's, that's where the, that's how it should be anyway. Um, but I'm very torn with this story because I'm torn between allowing people to do what they want to do with their mm -hmm. bodies and I'm all same for here. that. Yeah. Yeah. And then at the same time, I'm torn between that. Well, why is this your decision? Um, and these girls, are they, what's that word when we say, are you show Ronu Jile? How do you say it? Like, are you show thinking, Ronu Jile. yeah, like, is this something that you have thought about? What do you deeply? do that makes your mom tell you that though? No, no, it depends. <laughs> 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 um, so, uh, you know, like, I wonder if they're thinking about that because um, you never know what, to, this is not America. We, it's not a, there's not a lot of people like Cardi B that can then become what they are now. Mm. There's a lot of limitations a to lot. women like that. Let's be real. Um, 
So it makes me wonder um, whether or not they're in, in, um, control, in, in control of their situations like they really are. And then when you bring on to the table what you've just said and then there's money involved and these men are actually like scouting, it's really just disgusting in my opinion. Like you can have your mm. choice to show your body how you want, but I think in my, my, I have my own choice to also have that opinion and say it's just really tacky. There's no class to okay, it. There's so no um, respect to it. In as much as um, we can be torn in between your, your entitled to do whatever you want with your body and being decent, right? Um, it, I resonate with what Tools said. Yeah. Because, and there's somebody said it sometime last week. I don't know if it's an anonymous person or if it's a, a popular person that said that um, the internet. So if you're not popular, you're social, anonymous. If no, 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 no. I'm just saying, is it an anonymous? <laughs> <laughs> like, is this someone we know or is it a celebrity who said that um, mm. the social media is now your new CV? CV. Yeah, we're you supposed to talk because, about that, but we didn't get Yeah, but we didn't it. get to. So at the end of the day, people are watching. Some people are keeping receipts. Yeah, but you see, that the reason why I don't even I, I don't even acknowledge that as much is because no one, not everyone cares about that. Like I don't think people are trying to have a good CV or like trying to. People want that. Some people want that brand. Where, you I think know, the biggest. You don't know where your journey is going to lead that, you Maybe to that's an argument of whether or not they're thinking about deeply. But I think the biggest thing was what you said. Jile. What you said. I think the only thing that is factual here that this is the wrong place to do it. Mm. I don't think Instagram was built. People have been. They, Instagram has, just, has been trying to shut down to relay. So I think that is the genuine wrong yeah. here. From, away from people's opinions, is that wrong place. You're, what you're doing is um, um, R rated. Like it's not for um, everybody's digest. If that yeah, makes sense. Like, Instagram is supposed to be for that. All right. Okay. So um, if you have Ronu Jile, look at what you said. And if you have not, enjoy your life. Moving on. Entertainer and politician Banky W has shut down brewing conspiracy theory regarding the increase a number of COVID-19 cases in Nigeria. An industry colleague, Aka Nani, had tweeted saying, quote, since the Chinese doctors came, the numbers started soaring, NCDC wake up, end of quote. To which Banky W responded saying, quote, the numbers started soaring because we have drastically ramped up the number of tests we are doing every day. The true numbers were always much worse than what we knew. We're just under testing and under reporting because of lack of testing capacity, end of quote. Yeah. I mean, they've always said that. The, all the articles I've been reading before, because we're always wondering why is Africa, so are we prone mm. to it? Is it our weather? And then we realized that the one country that had a number of high cases was South Africa, and they were doing 16,000 um, tests Test per day. day. So, um, of course, they'll have more numbers. So, I think we've been in denial in that regard. I um, think now they're at about 114,000 tests. A day? No, generally. Right. Yeah. So, I think it's 1,000 tests a day now. That's what I, I, I read on their, in, on their Twitter. Um, so I th I, uh, it's worrying to see that people, especially uh, celebrities, are still doing this thing where you're not really thinking to a very deep. Um, it, it worries. This is your quote is going Jile, to go to the whole show. The whole I know. Know. Jile. Because I wonder <laughs> what makes you just like tweet search. Yeah, and With you're your educated. Influence. Yes, your ed this is an educated guy. Like I watch him on Instagram. Like he's. Very educated. Like, he won yeah, my heart when he took his traits. um stance on Kosala Dakola. Yeah, where he was saying, just calm down. I'm not saying I don't believe you. I believe you. Just calm down. Don't preach the next Sunday that somebody's literally saying that they raped you, so you don't take away from this. Like, hmm. he's real. I, I, I find him really intelligent, but I feel like sometimes, I don't know, maybe it's COVID-19, the lockdown, the bottom, but not just, I don't know. Or maybe fear. Maybe fear. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I like the way uh, one of the blog sites said is acute ignorance, mm. because at the end of the day, <laughs> you saw that as Don't well, right? Just just <laughs> and then at the end of the day, I'm wondering if people actually think about this, that look, we're talking about a pandemic. Uh, we are, with the population in, we have in Nigeria, shouldn't we have more numbers? Mm. Do you understand? So are you not worried that we are, um, it's being underreported? The cases we have in this country, are we not worried? Are they getting to the grassroots? Now, there's still that mentality of fear of tests. Do you understand? A lot of people are probably... Okay, there was a case, was he in Abia or... I can't remember, it's, it's an eastern state now. The guy called them, he said it's, he has symptoms of um, COVID-19 and that he was in contact with somebody who has um, been diagnosed with the virus. And by the time they got to his address, he was nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. Then he switched off his phone. Then he called them, he, he called, they called him again, they got through to him later, and then he was telling them that... Um, 
is at so so place. They got there, it was nowhere to be found until they had to call the police and then they tracked them down. So when they asked him that, what? you called us, so why are you run? He said when he saw the ambulance and the people dressed and the NCDC people dressed like that, he got really scared. Mm. So people still have that mentality of the fear of being tested. So they need to really think about it, especially this educated illiterates that are saying that. Um, the, well, the sense that Chinese people came. It's because mm. we're doing more tests a day. That's the yeah. only reason why and, we're getting and, more and numbers. I think the, the problem with how we are callous with this testing thing is because Nigerians don't trust the government. Mm. Um, and countries, if you notice countries, even America is like that. Americans don't trust their, their government. And America, you see places like America and Nigeria having a high rate of conspiracy theories coming out because we don't respect the people that mm. it's coming from. If we had a, an open system or like a, mm. a, a successful democratic um, community, then maybe we wouldn't have these issues. People are saying that they're spiking numbers. And it's such a joke to me because if Nigeria started to spike numbers, you wouldn't be seeing one in this place, one in this place. They'll have spiked it up to like 80 in this they, place. They would have spiked money. it up like the ballot boxes. You know, like um, because you can see <laughs> like when, I'm not wow. saying that okay. no, Nigerians don't have a right to do that because we have seen cases already that Nigerians are already involved in um, fraud with the I-95 masks and things like that. So yeah, they are in you know in, in, in dishonest and everything. But let's pick and choose. Let's not pick and choose rather when we want to take off our caps to think about things before we tweet them. Me, I'm still worried too. You know, there are times they'll go to a certain state and then they say it's positive and then they come back tell us, oh, after t testing twice, it's now negative. Are they still being counted as confirmed cases or do they deduct them at no, the end? Con they can confirm cases. cases, but they now put recovery. They no, now also add I'm talking of the ones that were mistaken to be positive or assumed um, suspected cases. No, no, they I don't know. add them. As they don't add them. They only put confirmed cases where you test when positive. When you test their positive. Yeah. All right, it is well. But acute ignorance. Moving on, many Nigerians are of the opinion that their leaders are not willing to relinquish power to the youth. But Nollywood actor, now politician, Yule Doche is of a different opinion. He tweeted, and I quote, Contrary to what you think, the old guys in power are constantly looking for youth to hand over to. But what they see is youth insulting each other on social media who can stand together and fight for anything. Youth who sell their souls for money, they hardly see leaders, end of words. I think this guy is, is in constant need of attention. Because if you ask me, that's not what is going on. We had the not too young to run bill and a lot of responsible young men came mm -hmm. out. Do you understand? So if you're actually looking for people to hand over power to, you have them. Once what a did leader you do with starts them? to look for people to hand over to, you're a bad leader. One of the jobs of a leader is to, to not create. create. We are not a traditional ruler. Like, <laughs> it's, it's like why are you really like for food? Like, it's supposed come to on. even be training people. And that's, understand? that's how I know. Like, anyone with a legacy, anyone who does something important, like, ask anybody. They have somebody that they're already saying, oh, this is how it works. And all the movies that you watch of, like, in, uh, of people who have built something good, they always have someone, their child, and uh, uh, a staff that they've taken really daily to show the ropes and things like that. It's just part of, like, being a leader. The minute you're starting to look for people, then you're not leading. You're selfishly guarding this title. And then when you can't hold on to it anymore, you now start to look. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I've noticed with, with Nigerians. Even I enter companies, industries, I've, I've met my, my, my role models. And I'm like, you know, who, who, where, where are the people that you're... None of them are working with anybody. It's only like very few people, especially like Wimbis. I have to shout out to Wimbis um, Association that have made that system of, of making um, pow mm. powerful women start to um, mentor younger people. So those are, those are the only people I know, to be honest. A lot of companies don't have that. Um, and you can see that in the, in the leadership in Nigeria with the government and things like that. People are going into... People who want to be in, in power like when they're older, like our generation, we know who they are, but they don't have any trainings. They're just waiting for them to get out and then they'll come in and then also do leadership blindly because nobody has trained them. It's a vicious cycle. Leadership without accountability. That's what they are preparing for. Yeah. And it's just and really then it's sad. just it's just really sad that um we had a lot of people that came out in twenty nineteen and then just a few of them were uh, probably in the Senate or some local government level. But if we're talking about people that you should hand over power to, we are everywhere. We are really everywhere. 
So it's really saddening and it's really disturbing. That Why didn't they hand over power to him? Because people are talking too much. Him. <laughs> well, he, he, he got, he, got he, he, he has he has a political title. Um, I said political title. I think that's done. <laughs> because I think he's that's talking done. like it's a chief answer title thing, right. so it makes me look like. And I wonder what I thought. He has an appointment, he was talking right? about I think that's the done. entertainment industry. Mm. As, that's how I read. It. I didn't think about it because I think about him as an entertainment actor. Entertainment industry. Like maybe he's talking about big people in the. No, he's the, talking about the. Um, the government. The government, like. About, well, so like, the government is coming. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you didn't get <laughs> it. Wait. So the government is coming to social media. That was why I said traditional rulers. Uh, I want to scout. No, go to social media to swing fights before they pick. Like, I'm confused. No, but you know what? At the I end of the day, about the too, industry. at the end, also what he said, you can see some elements of truth in it because if you look at the young people these days now, is it a, a lot of young boys are fast to make money? They want to make money fast. I still also, feel like there's more decent people than that. They're just louder. They just make yeah. louder noises. And then if you go on social media as well, you see a lot of comments on social media and you'll be wondering like, wow. Well, who and are then those comments This from lady that, yeah. that yeah. get on clad in well, look videos at, flip as that, well. Flip Come that on, look how at, many ladies went on clad and how many ladies have No, no, no. Yeah. Aside that, flip no. That go, on, go, at, go on a lot of ladies' social media pages. A lot go of on ladies' know, social media. What kind of ladies do you follow? I'm sorry. Not a lot of ladies before the ladies come for me. I'm talking about Go to some ladies' social media. That's page anyone. Why see. don't you? Why why don't you go to um, Forbes list? Why don't you go to um, uh, agencies that that give awards why to young Niger people? List? Thank you. Why mm. don't you go to mm. people future that I think Bella Niger NGOs, has whatever? Like future, why aren't you going to places like that? Globally, like, uh -uh. globally. And, and then don't and there look was too a question. Far. Just look at the tea time table. You know? you know, there was a question that was raised <laughs> one time when they said, "Why is it that when the youths that you put say they they will amount to nothing steps out of this country?" they are the first in almost everything they set their mind that they are mm. to do like they come out top they're winning their awards they're getting recognized by the queen and you keep saying that these people are irresponsible they're not ready to take their life serious can't you just sit down to reflect and think and ask yourself Ronujide, and ask <laughs> what exactly is going on in this environment that makes people look like they are not serious and even the ones that are serious and fighting through the tides you overlook them and you don't care yeah so they need to sit back if they are really looking for like they say or like you says they need to sit back and reflect on themselves like you not me you I know. <laughs> <I'm just joking. laughs> okay i think that's how i wrap up this episode uh, of tea time. I yeah. wish had, uh, thank you for watching about... and happy birthday yeah. again to your fellow washington's dad happy birthday daddy thank you for giving us this stubborn boy like we said <laughs> and uh, you can join the conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time or tweet at us at plus tv africa remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our youtube channel at plus tv africa also watch tea time on auto tv and in london on ben television my thank you as always will go to my co-anchors ife omai and ife olua Oshunkaye, and the entire production team thank you for watching plus tv africa's tea time my name is elsie godwin please stay safe